Um, our organization was founded in 1998, uh, just after the war, but um, for many years we've been inactive since a lot of our members, like many other inhabitants of this country, <coughs> had to flee somewhere else in search for uh, good education and uh, work. Um, after a quite a long period, we are back again in Sarajevo. Uh, one of our main aims is to make an un informal um, organization of cultural workers in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And when I say in Bosnia and Herzegovina, I really mean on, in the whole part of our country. What we want to do is to try to engage the cultural workers in, um, in some law practices that uh, are current in culture, to make them think about the system that they live in, because we cannot separate artists from the context they live in, and it very much influences what they do. And uh, we think that they are not well enough formed, unfortunately, about how the system works and how you can try to change the system. We have been also quite active in the field of uh, arts and activism uh, since um, many things in Bosnia from for the past 20 years are not functioning. You can hardly uh, separate your own life from <laughs> being an activist and fighting for some kind of right. So uh, we've been trying to combine uh, what is art and culture today and uh, is it a place, can it be a place of our resistance. Um, what we have been doing was um, trying to uh, question the, the public spaces for cultures, what we call commons today, and uh, what is there any commons in culture today. Um, our new project is going to do uh, deal with, with this uh, public spaces for culture, and we'll be trying to map them inside of Bosnia and Herzegovina. That's one of our first things to do. It's a lot of work because um, I think that uh, you know that during the ex-Yugoslavia um, the culture was something which was very heavily funded by the state and it was um, basically in each village in Bosnia you had a center for culture. Was it a small one? Was it a bigger one? You had it. I mean it's, it's about basically the idea that Andrei Marlo had once which was <laughs> retaken by Tito in, in, in many things and done in Bosnia also. Uh, all of these places are mostly closed now and uh, we would see, uh, uh, we would like to see uh, what's their purpose today, do they have any purpose today and uh, is it possible to retake them back for what they were meant for. So that's one of the things that we are quite active for the few, past few months. Um, we have been in collaboration with many um, NGOs from all around Bosnia because the issue of mapping should collect a lot of people. It's a very hard work to do. It's going to take at least a year to do it. It's, uh, 20 years after the war, all those donors that were interested in Bosnia just after the war went away. So it's very hard. Um, to find new people willing to give uh, money because and it's, it's also very hard to explain them how in 20 years almost nothing has been done. It's very hard to say, okay, you know, we are after 20 years again in the beginning. And so many projects came and went, so much money came and went, and but systematical changes have not been done. That, that's the, it's always ad hoc. It's always, you know, reacting on a current situation without rethinking, you know, one year in advance. And that's a really big problem here. I know that um, the artists have many, you know, uh, issues that they would like to talk about and contemplate and so on. But here, you know, after all these problems, after everything you've done, you become very realistic and very, you know, like bullet point oriented, you know, you know exactly what to do and you are very fast because unfortunately you are in a very huge competition with time, all the time. So um, 
for, for us, you know, to have, for example, two days of seminar where we really think, you know, do, is there some project that we would like to do is almost impossible. You know, we sit, we, we brainstorm, we write. There's no much time to, you know, think about that and what we would really like to do and so on and so on. Sometimes you just have to uh, accept some um, things um, and, and try to resolve them as, as soon as possible. We, we are very much interested in, in collaborating with, um, with, especially with the the countries from EU uh, because that collaboration is quite small at the moment. Um, we have a huge problem with people um, and institutions because um, no one is educated enough to write European projects, Creative Europe or whatever, very hard because there have been just few trainings for that. The program is quite new to people. It's quite uh, a lot of administrative work. Uh, a lot of institutions do not have capacity for that. You know, if you have three employees and to put two to work on Creative Europe and stay alone for two or three months, it's not an option. So all these things are something that, you know, we would like to work on. We would like to do the trainings for, for, the, for writing and applying to Creative Europe and different fonts from you because um, they are mostly not reachable at the moment for organizations from Basel. So we would like also to you know, change this um, attitude um, yeah, among people because due to very hard social economical situation, uh, you often have questions like uh, how can you talk about the culture and issues of culture or reopening the museum or whatever when we are hungry and we have nothing to eat. And the, the protests in February showed how big scale of anger and disappointment and everything is in Bosnia. You know, it's a, a accumulation of everything, of war trauma, of frustration, of 20 years of <clears throat> non moving into towards anything better, which is coming out now in a you know in waves of a lot of anger. And it's very hard to explain to people that those people in a museum are like any other factory that has been ruined and there are people left without work. It's the same, it's the same issue. But they need to understand that, you know, they need to understand that you're not asking for some extra money for I don't know what, you know, you're asking for these people who to have pension, to have health care, to receive the salaries they earn and so on. I think that we have opened many questions um, regarding culture in this country uh, due to a specific situation and uh, maybe even some more progressive ideas that you can hear from here, from this region, than even in Europe, you know, because of the reality of, of life we, we live in.